made it to the big gem lake this is beautiful this water is crystal clear but you can tell it's super deep come along on this episode of loving the view with russ and Nettie as we go on a hike in the little lakes valley to the beautiful gem lakes the little lakes valley or mosquito flat trailhead is about a 20 minute drive down rock creek road just off highway 395. this is a busy trail so get here early in the day to get the best parking spot when we came here, we ended up having to park about a quarter mile away from the trailhead and we had to walk the rest of the way in. Even though we had to walk a ways to the trailhead, it was beautiful most of the way so we knew we were in for a great hike. The Little Lakes Valley Trail to Gem Lakes is an 8 mile round trip hike which is rated as moderate by all trails with a 1,059 foot elevation gain. As we were hiking along the path, Lily was insisting to go into the creek so we let her take a quick dip. We don't blame her as it looked very refreshing. We could see a few little trout swimming in the creek as well, so we put our camera underneath to get a better look. We're always super excited when we see the John Muir Wilderness signs, so we try to get our pictures with them whenever possible. Started out without views, we're mostly trees in the stream, but we're starting to get a little higher now. We're at the junction to go left to Little Lakes Valley and to the right is Mono Pass. So we're gonna go left to Little Lakes Valley. There's a lot more lakes that way for Lily to swim in and play. The trails are well marked and easy to hike on with very little in the way of technicality. The day we were out here, there were entire families hiking on this trail. So we are pretty confident that most of this trail can be hiked by almost anyone, as long as you're not affected by the elevation. Just take some extra time if you need it. Lily seems to enjoy getting a drink of the mountain water whenever we stop. The first lake on the trail, which we skipped, is Mack Lake, but the next lake we did see is Marsh Lake, which is about a mile in and approximately 10,440 feet of elevation. The third lake we came to at about 1.4 miles in is Hart Lake and is also at about 10,440 feet of elevation. We got to one of the first nice lakes on the Little Lakes hiking trail. This is beautiful scenery. You can see Lily already in the water. She's kind of hard to keep away from all the water. She's like a, a magnet. but. It's really nice. You can see the mountains behind the lake. The scenery doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, it's just a few feet off the trail. Yeah, this is literally just like four or five feet off the trail right here. And the trail goes around most of the lake right here. Definitely a dog friendly trail. A lot of dogs out here. This is another beautiful lake. This one is called Box Lake. It's beautiful. Perfect day to be out here. Go. We just stopped by the stream to have a quick lunch. The stream goes into Box Lake and it's definitely beautiful. Look at that. It's hard to beat a scene like this for lunch. A great lake to stop and take a rest break is Long Lake, which is at 2.2 miles in and 10,559 feet of elevation. We're at Long Lake and this water is so clear. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but right at the edge here, it just goes right down. You can see how, how far, how deep would you say that is, Nettie? No yeah, that's beautiful. This lake, like many of the others in the area, is popular with those wanting to catch a few fish while they're enjoying the beauty of the surroundings. And as we were hiking along the lake, we saw this guy doing just that. We decided to make our way up to Gem Lake instead of Chicken Foot. We met some nice folks who said Gem Lake is the prettiest one of the group, so we're going to go up and check it out for sure. We'll see you up there. There were definitely a couple of hills to hike up, but nothing too terrible, with the bulk of the elevation gain coming towards the end of the hike. How are you feeling? You feeling this? I'm definitely feeling this. Yeah. Pretty clouds behind you though. It's our highest hike this season. Yep. And the longest this season, so I'm feeling it. Yeah. 
every time you think that the view can't get better, it just does. That's for sure. There are a few spots where you have to hike over streams on stone steps like these. At 3.3 miles in, you reach your first gem lake. It's not a very big one, but it is still beautiful. Shortly past the first gem lake is this junction for Morgan Pass which takes you to Upper Morgan Lake and beyond. But we kept going to the rest of the gem lakes instead. Okay. After walking past many of the smaller gem lakes and hiking about four miles in, you finally reach the final of the gem lakes at the end of the trail. When we reached this lake, we found a group having a great time jumping into the lake from a rock outcropping. When we soaked our feet in the water, they got numb real quick, so I don't know how those folks were even able to tolerate the frigid temperatures of the lake. Made it to the Big Gem Lake. This is beautiful. This water is crystal clear, but you can tell it's super deep. Nettie and I absolutely love the beauty of this lake. It is stunning with the mountains surrounding it. Lily did enjoy the water and went for a little swim, but didn't like how quickly it dropped off. But not surprisingly, she did like the taste of the water. There's nothing like fresh alpine lake water to quench your thirst. Thank you so much for hiking to the Gem Lakes with us. We truly hope you enjoyed the views right along with us.